There's something sad about the decay of a once grand building. It's like a testament to man's vanity, opulence, or even mortality. These once grand structures fell into disrepair. The once proud hallways, ballrooms and bedrooms now play host to insects, dust, or even the homeless, which is rather ironic. The once elegantly constructed architecture is eroded by time and the elements. Here are seven crumbling mansions that are fascinating to look at with an intriguing history. Number seven, Pithersti Castle, Pithersti, Ukraine. This castle, built between 1635 and 1640, was once richly furnished. However, during World War I, the castle was captured by the Russians, who did not destroy it, but looted most of the precious items from it. Unfortunately, later on, it was again ransacked by the Russian soldiers, who destroyed its interiors, walls, tiles, and floors. Later, the castle belonged to Prince Roman Sankutsko, who removed some of its valuable furnishings in 1939 and took them to Brazil. After World War II, the Soviets reopened it as a tuberculosis sanitarium. In February 1956, the castle almost completely burned down, including valuable paintings. The fire lasted three weeks, leaving behind only walls and $12 million worth of damages. In 1997, it was purchased by the Lviv Gallery of Painting, which turned it into a museum. The Lviv Gallery of Arts is trying to restore the building, but at present, there aren't any visible changes. Number 6. Chateau Miranda or Chateau de Noisy, Cellus, Belgium. Chateau Miranda was built in 1866 by an English architect for the Lederskart Beaufort family. Their descendants remained in occupation until World War II. A portion of the Battle of the Bulge took place on the property where it was occupied by German forces. In 1950, Chateau Miranda was renamed Chateau de Noisy when it was taken over by the National Railway Company of Belgium as an orphanage and also a holiday camp for sickly children. It lasted as a children's camp until the late 1970s. The chateau has stood empty and completely abandoned since 1991 because the cost to maintain it were too great and a search for investors in the property failed. Although the municipality of Chellis had offered to take it over, the family had refused and in 2015 the enormous building fell into a derelict state, succumbing to decay and vandalism. Parts of the structure were heavily damaged in the fire and many areas of the ceiling collapsed, but has still remained a favourite venue for tourists. Unfortunately, in October 2017, the chateau was completely demolished and nothing remaining except some of the foundations, which are due to be cleared in 2018. Number 5. Halcyon Hall, Bennett College, Millbrook, New York. The main building of Bennett College, Halcyon Hall, was built in 1893 by H.J. Davison Jr., a publisher from New York. It has 200 rooms and five stories, a basement and a sub-basement. Originally built as a luxury hotel, the building became home to Bennett College in 1907 after the hotel failed to attract customers. However, the hall enjoyed a second life when a few years later, the Bennett School for Girls moved in, making the building home and school to students from prominent families. The Bennett campus also included a chapel, stables, dormitories, an outdoor theatre and the Kettering Science Centre, a state-of-the-art building completed in late 1972. The cost of constructing the science building, along with other campus upgrades, contributed to the school's bankruptcy. Halcyon Hall was never reopened and quickly fell into ruin. When the heat was turned off, Water pipes burst, causing major water damage throughout the building. Large portions of the roof had collapsed and trees could be seen growing through parts of the building. Halcyon Hall remained in this state as of April 2015. The hall is a popular site for tourists and photographers due to its structure and decay. 
Several attempts were made in the 1980s to develop the property, but all failed, and the title was taken over by a bank, which itself collapsed in 1991, and its assets were seized by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Housing Hall was scheduled to be demolished in 2012 and was purchased in 2014 with plans to tear down the remains of the hall and develop a park. As of 2016, the building was still standing. Number 4. Castel van Missen, Lied, Belgium. Missen Castle was built in 1628 and was an important noble residence in Lied, Belgium. The 18th century facade was designed by Italian architects for the fourth Marques Emmanuel di Bette. It was considered one of the Italian architects' major works. The 18th century castle is considered to have been one of the most important aristocratic estates of the 18th century. The building had functioned as a castle, a gin distillery, a tobacco factory, and after World War I, a boarding school for girls financed by the Belgian aristocracy. Today, it is partly ruined and completely abandoned. The local authorities refuse to protect the castle or to classify it as a monument and let it fall into complete ruin. Today, most of the buildings have been demolished despite local protests. Number three, Lilsden Estate Mansion, later the Lilsden or Badgebury School for Girls, UK. Located in a quiet corner of rural Kent, England, this mansion was built between 1853 and 1855 by a banker named Edward Lloyd. The abundance of thistles within the mansion's decorative stonework and motives suggest a strong Scottish connection and Lloyd's Welsh origins. After World War I, fortunes declined for many of Britain's country estates and the mansion passed into the hands of the Lilsden School for Girls. Later becoming Bedgebury Public School for Girls, the school set amid 200 acres of gardens and forests with ponies stabled in the grounds, where the estate and the mansion remained an educational institution until 1999. Since then, the neglected structure has deteriorated considerably, a ghostly relic of its prosperous past amid the overgrown Lilsden estate. The estate was used to film scenes for the film 28 Days Later and Doctor Who. The old school is reportedly set to be turned into apartments. Number 2. Monomzevo Mansion, Russia. This now abandoned mansion, which is located 220 kilometers from Moscow and was built in the late 19th century. Legend has it that when a Russian nobleman named Vladimir Krapovsky traveled throughout France with a French lord, the two began squabbling over which of their countries were supreme, which the French lord bragged that his country had the best architecture. This spurred the Russian to build a magnificent castle in Russia. The Frenchman then scoffed and replied, if you can build a castle as grandiose as the ones in France, I would come to Russia myself to see it. Challenged by this wager, Klebovitsky returned home and built the infamous Maratsevo mansion and the structure was an architectural anomaly in the Russian landscape. It was once a grand example of Russian privilege built exclusively to win a frivolous bet between noblemen. Built roughly in the style of a medieval German castle with a hint of French chateau. The mansion was fully equipped with plumbing, drainage and telephone lines. There were only a few noble estates in Moscow with the same conveniences. The mansion had about 80 rooms where one room was called the famous mirror room with walls lined only with mirrors and one bedroom had an aquarium under the glass floor. The house was decorated with bot sculptures, collections of pictures and arms, porcelain and mirrors. Eventually stables, a pavilion, a pond and many other amenities were added. The estate was used as a college for a time and then a hospital while World War I was raging, but eventually it fell into disrepair, with no plans for restoration currently being pursued. The castle is still standing, but nature has invaded the grounds and the floors are in serious disrepair. Number 1. Prince Said Halim's Palace or Champollion House, 
Cairo, Egypt. This beautiful abandoned mansion, which takes up an entire city block in Cairo, Egypt, has stood empty since 2004. In its heyday, it was one of the most opulent homes in the city. The residence of the Cairo-born Ottoman statesman Said Halim Pasha. But today, it's a vast, haunting leviathan looming over the surrounding gardens with its huge staircase and other grand features. Pasha commissioned the mansion from the premier architect in Egypt, Antonio Lassiak, who designed the mansion where most of the building materials and many of the decorations were imported from Italy. At the end of the Great War, Pasha was exiled to Malta and his assets were seized in 1915 on the orders of the British, including the mansion. The vacated mansion was turned into the El Nasriya School for Boys and it became one of the premier educational institutions in Cairo for the sons of government officials and senators, the boys that would become diplomats and ministers. Over time, the building's association with the privileged classes of that era conspired to make it a target for looters and vandals. The abandoned mansion has now been empty for more than a decade and stands as a sad decaying reminder of a different time.